Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for the second episode slash guide slash tutorial for Farming Simulator 19. Today we're gonna have a close look at Auto Drive, a mod that just makes my day in this game absolutely phenomenal. You know, I basically treat this game like an idle clicker. I probably drove once across this field myself. Other than that, I just hired workers. And the most tedious part I haven't even taken care of. Namely the driving from and to certain locations. So in today's episode, we're gonna utilize a mod in order to automate everything. You can see currently I don't own a lot of money. Well, actually we are in the minus and the reason for that is I almost paid off my loan but then I had to take it again because it was just not going fast enough for me. I had to purchase field 18 as well so we can have a bigger harvest. At the moment I'm collecting everything and then bringing the goods to the railroad silo west. What this is going to do is it's just, you know, being kept in the storage until we have a really high price to sell it at. For instance, right now I have collected approximately 30,000 liters of wheat and as soon as that gets an exceptional price we are going to sell it. Now of course at the moment I have to do all this tedious work myself. I first have to grab the trailer, then go over to my combine. I have to collect everything in this trailer and then ship it over to the silo. It is just extremely tedious and you have to play the game constantly. I mean, what is this game? I just want to initiate things and then I want to wait and watch. So believe it or not, the auto drive mod is going to make things a lot easier for us and even faster. We can even go ahead and automate things like uh, what I'm doing right now. And we're going to have a look at all these features in today's episode. So with a little bit of luck, this is going to be the last harvest that I have to do manually. And then in the meantime, we can do other things that you actually have to do manually, such as cutting down trees and stuff like that. This is also going to allow us to own multiple fields and not worry too much about having to do everything ourselves. We can practically automate everything using the auto drive mod. Anyways, in order to introduce it, you can already see it on the right side, there is a GUI and if I hit the middle mouse button, then I get my mouse cursor so I can actually use and click all of these items. The way AutoDrive basically works in its essence is you hop over into the editor mode, you hit the record button and you will be recording a couple of notes and it's just gonna follow the route you are drawing. At any given time you can stop recording, you can also see this red line is always focusing on the point that I have currently selected, which is usually the point that is closest to you. You can hover over one of these and move it around with a right mouse button. And of course at any given point you can also go ahead and record a different route, so you can branch off into several directions. You can also connect points by selecting the first point first and then the second one. And this way you can set up all your routes. I can also name certain locations, for instance, name this point Chip. No, I meant to uh, call it Home, for instance. And then if we are close to a network that is connected to Home, I can go ahead and select this right here and just hit this button in order to drive to it. Now, this is going to hire a worker that you actually have to pay. So this is even more genius. But there we go. We just arrived at the Home location. There are several modes you can be in. For instance, right now we are just driving to our destination. If I change this icon, I can also go ahead and collect something from a silo and unload it somewhere else. I can also decide what we want to collect. There is a third mode to just dump something somewhere. So for instance, I could tell them to bring whatever I have in my trailer to my silo. The next mode is to simply load something up. For instance, I could set my silo as a destination and fill it with liquid fertilizer or whatever. Next up we have the combine mode, so you can assign a worker in order to empty your combine whenever it requires emptying, which usually is at around 80% or so. And that's basically it for all the modes. However, before I talk too much, we are just going to create a couple of destinations, I would say. Uh, let's actually go ahead and delete everything right here. This is going to delete the nodes that are closest to you. What else before we get started? Maybe let's have a look at the settings really briefly. I changed this to 8 meters, look ahead distance. I also changed the use folder so I can make really many categories and destinations. In the second menu I also changed the line height to be above the tractors. I can see it as it is being drawn. 
And I believe those were the most important changes that I've made so far, but we're gonna have to have a look at these menus once again. I mean, there are pretty interesting settings such as automatic refueling and everything, so ah, that is gonna be so great. We can basically automate everything so we don't have to work anymore. <laughs> Alright then, let's get started with our first route and I'm actually going to do this with my trailer in the back so I can also calculate what I'm actually gonna require in order to get around the corners. Let me just put this into a different location. Cedar, you have to get out of the way, just gently push. Okay, so this is going to be my starting point. Well, I guess I can adjust it in the future, but let's go ahead and set this route up. I can do this as slowly and carefully as I want to. I just want to make sure that we get around this post conveniently. Uh, okay, that was that was not good. Okay, let's try this again with a different angle. We're gonna hit the record button and we're starting right here. Then we want to make sure we get a nice turn into that road without interfering with the other side of the road because eventually I would like to have multiple vehicles going back and forth and they should not get into each other's way. Now I can do this as slowly and carefully as I want. The driver then is just going to adjust their speed to the turn rates. So no matter how slow I do this, they are gonna drive as fast as possible. I'd rather take my sweet time with this so in the future we're all good. Especially around the turns here, I have to be careful not to overstep my boundaries, but at the same time, I also don't want my trailer to leave the road. So right here, be very gentle. Mm -hmm. So far so good. We are almost at the silo at this point. And yeah, basically our first goal is going to be to connect all the different points of interest on the map together and bring the vehicles as close to the triggers as possible to automate everything so I don't have to lift a finger anymore. All right, at this point we want to make a gentle curve and turn into here. Get this around the lamppost nicely and then we want to stop on the unloading point. And I believe this is a pretty good spot. So what I want to do is stop the recording and I want to restart the recording so we get a new point right here that is going to be closest to me and that I'm going to name as my point of interest. I think it was the railroad silo west. So that's what we are going to call it. And now we essentially want to do the same tour but back. This is only a one-way system. There is also a two-way system that I'm gonna show you in just a second. Now let's see, uh, we wanna utilize maybe the center of this road a little bit. There we go, and then keep on going and moving back. Nice, gentle curve. Now naturally, if we do this well, two trailers will be able to pass each other, but you can see it is sometimes going to be a little bit tricky, especially with the fences and everything. And the road themselves are sometimes not very wide, I have to admit. Alright, so far so good. I'm actually gonna utilize the other entrance in order to get back into the farm. So we're gonna go through here and then do a little turn at this point. Want to get around the corner here and before we continue straight we are just moving into the farm. Now what I probably want is my drop off point right here. So this point right here I'm gonna name home. Last but not least, we want to make sure this system is actually connected. So I want to make my way as close as possible to the point we started at in order to connect these two systems. And now if everything went well, we can select our destination and just tell the driver to get there. Before we do that though, let's unload the combine one more time and then we shall see whether or not this truck is actually making it to its destination. Give me all that good barley. Mm, thank you. If we look closely in the editor, we can see the red line still exists. It is always seeking the closest point of a system, no matter how far it is away on the map. So I could also choose a destination from here and hit the enable button, but sometimes that is not advisable. Now in this case it will probably work because the red line is connecting to the right system that actually leads towards the railroad. But for instance, imagine we are starting on this side. If I now hit the enable button, it first attempts to go to the other side because of course that's the way the system goes. What we can do to make the system more intelligent, especially in places where two trucks cannot physically get past each other, is set up a two-way road. For that we hit the record button with the right mouse button and what this is going to do is it is going to draw a blue line instead as you can see here and the blue line simply means it's a two-way road. 
What you would have to do with this blue line is connect it to two green lines going into two different directions. And then whichever tractor is in the blue line part first is going to force the other tractor coming from the other direction to wait before the blue line. So they can go past each other, they wait for each other. And then once the road is free, they can go for it. Now let me just go ahead and actually get rid of that and then we are gonna get into the right position here. I always like to do my first test of the road that I've just done with the editor enabled. So let's hit the enable button and now I'm actually paying a driver to do this. So I'm not driving myself anymore and you will be able to see that because the wheels are turning much faster than I can ever do on a keyboard and mouse. But this should now perfectly follow the road and I'm just gonna observe whether or not this is a good route or I should still make some adjustments. But for now this is looking pretty dope. Yeah, look at that precision. It is just absolutely amazing. Now here with the rails it could be a close call. It is definitely a close call. So maybe once I send a truck this could be a much bigger problem and I will have to observe that. The drivers are also adjusting their speeds for certain corners. Uh, so this corner was actually taken very quickly, but they will sometimes slow down, especially if they are narrow corners. Like for instance, right here, it is definitely slowing down. I'm still not doing anything, just moving the camera. And there we go perfectly into the silo. It is just absolutely amazing. And of course, I don't have to drive with them. It's just a pleasure to watch. Now what we could have done is utilize this mode here, the deliver mode, in order to deliver to Railroad West. And then theoretically it is going to unload the trailer automatically. But in this case we can do it ourselves, just unload the trailer. We're gonna swap the destination to home again and then we're gonna do the same test drive home. There we go, that's done. You can go. Let's have a look at how that is going to work out. We're getting around here. Good stuff, good stuff. I might still do a couple of adjustments. I'm not yet too happy, but we're getting there. Yeah, this is just absolutely amazing. And this is the simplest technique of the mod. You can actually park backwards into a shed and everything. It is just absolute insanity. But we're gonna go over all the features in this and the upcoming episodes. Uh, here, I'm a little bit too close to the middle line for comfort. So that's something I might want to adjust. But there we go, the driver is making his way home, back to my farm and my home spot. And as soon as he arrived, you just saw him disappear and I don't have to pay him anymore. Wonderful. So now it's basically time to set up a system for all the different points of interest. So I definitely want to have an automatic way to get to each of the delivery stations. I might even want to go to the fuel station sometimes. Of course, the railroad silo west is what I decided to store my crop in, but as soon as that is full, we might want to swap to this one. I want the lime stations and biogas plants set up. I want the sawmill and everything. So basically, we're going to map out the entire road network. And only after we've done that, we can get into the details, such as setting up the individual fields so we can work together with the harvester and do everything automatically. It's gonna be so fun. I mean, it's basically the goal in every game that I do, that at the end, I, I don't have to do anything anymore because I've taken care of everything. Well, anyways, let's freaking do this. All right, guys, I kept on harvesting my stuff, sold a couple of things. We are now a little bit less in debt, but it's still a bad situation for us. However, in good news, I have almost mapped out the entire road system. There's still lots to go, but the most important things are already there. As soon as we are finished planting this field, I want to show you the functionality of automatically unloading, but then we are also gonna try Auto Drive's functionality to go somewhere, load something up and automatically bring it to a selling station. If we have a look at the prices at the moment, I do have some wheat to sell. The prices are still raising in Port Northwest. That seems to be a good selling point. We also have some canola here, I believe at least that is. And I believe this price here is not too shabby. Uh, hopefully that is also going to go up as soon as we speed up time a little bit. Actually, Grain Elevator East, I believe that is something that I haven't done yet. Oh my gosh. There it is, Grain Elevator East. Actually, that's not too far off. I've already done Port Southeast, so I would have to branch off here and finish this part. Maybe that's something we should do right away. Oh no, this is gonna be annoying to turn around. <laughs> and as you can see, I've basically mapped out everything. This is supposed to work. Hold on, you're driving in the wrong direction. <laughs> 
Yeah, admittedly, it is sometimes a little bit finicky, especially as you encounter more and more intersections. For instance, right here in this roundabout, I had to set up quite a few connections and this seems to be rather confusing. Anyways, what we want to do at this point is branch off right there, go into that direction and I will have to be a little bit careful to go all the way to the side since this road is very narrow. But there we go, this is already it. Let's try to get in here and obviously we want to make our way on top of the unload station. Right here is where I would like to have my next point and this is going to be, I already forgot it, Grain Elevator East. There, now that we have that, we have to make sure we somehow can turn around in this place. What were they thinking when they built this? But I guess right here is not a bad spot. We want to turn as sharp as possible and then make our way out of here. Right here I also want to make sure the lines don't interfere with each other. But something like that should technically be good. At this intersection I want to make sure we can turn to the right without any issues and if I get close enough to this line I should be able to simply connect it like so. That looks good. However at this point I also want the possibility to turn left and that is exactly what we're doing now. And then hopefully also successfully hook this up. That looks actually acceptable. Now I can go into all directions from this intersection. Let's quickly try this out. Grain elevator east. Want to drive all the way there and see how we do the turnaround. So far so good. Getting on the unloading station. Okay. And if I've done everything correctly, we should also be able to travel home. Yes. Turn around carefully. Yeah, this might actually work out. There we go. This is also the right turn, making my way home. Now, what is he going to do at the roundabout? Hopefully the correct thing. Okay, that actually looked good. <laughs> at least something is working here. One more intersection I'm curious about is this one here. Well, at least into that direction. That doesn't seem to be a problem. Also right here, we can cross everything and please go to the left. Wonderful. Okay, this guy's going to make it home. No problem. Let's go ahead pick up our trailer and unload it. So now what we should be able to do is swap to the deliver symbol right here and we're gonna deliver everything to the railroad silo west. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, go, 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 go. That's what I'm talking about. Just had to think about it for a bit. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're almost there. Perfect turn. Ah, wonderful. Let's now observe the unloading process. So he slowly approaches the target and then as soon as he can, he's gonna unload that. I've done nothing, this all happened automatically and I love it. Once he's done with the job, he's gonna approach the target. No, actually he is, hmm, where is he going? <laughs> so I'm really not sure what he is doing at the moment. I'm gonna cancel that and I actually wanna show the other functionality, but before we do that, we should have a closer look at the prices again. So we're probably gonna pick up uh, the canola and we wanna sell it at Grain Elevator East, right? As long as the number is still raising, we're gonna wait. I can actually speed up time a little bit since we need our fields to be growing anyways. In the meantime, I'm already gonna prepare my crop protection. Ah, unfortunately the number stopped growing, so we are gonna sell at the grain mill, which has the highest price at the moment. I'm only doing that so that I can actually show you. It's probably not the best price yet, but what we want to do is pick up the stuff at the railroad silo. We are then going to sell stuff at the grain mill, and the stuff we want to sell is uh, wheat. No, it was canola. So without any further ado, let's hit the start button. Hopefully everything is gonna work out. I've been making so many pathways, it's definitely possible I messed something up. But it was the most fun I've had in a long time in this game. There we go, slowly approaching the loading station and this should work perfectly. There we go, as soon as we are in reach we are filling up the canola. I believe this even works if you have two trailers daisy chained, but I haven't confirmed that yet. As soon as we are full, we are continuing. This is actually a setting you have to set in the GUI. Normally they would just wait until the trailer is completely full, but I set them to continue if there is nothing in the silo. We can also see that the grain mill is lit in green, which means they found a path to the selling station, which is a good sign. Let's see if they also take the smart route. So they should now be turning around. No, actually not. Yeah, you're correct. Don't listen to me. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, we are making our way to the grain mill. So everything is fine just yet. 
and I haven't touched a button since we started this journey. It is just magnificent. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. But spending time on a mod that allows me to basically have no gameplay at all is just fabulous. We are now approaching the grain mill and it looks as though I've done this correctly. It is considering the trailer and everything. There we go. Are we selling it? No, not yet. Wonderful. He's actually unloading it and we're making some money. Now, I believe the way this works is as soon as he's done, he's gonna go back to Railroad Silo West. Wow, that was actually a lot of uh, harvest income. Jeez. So if we didn't want that, we would have to stop the repeating. But I believe that's exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah, he's going back to Railroad Silo West. So he would do that over and over again, which is not necessarily what we want. So what I'm gonna tell him to do instead is just drive back home. And in the meantime, we can speed up time again and take care of our fields. But there we go. That was kind of just a very easy introduction into the mod. I'm actually gonna play around with this a little bit more in between the episodes and I'm definitely gonna have some fun with it. There's also automatic parking and everything. But honestly, I need to make a little bit more money so that I can purchase another property. For instance, I would like to have the property 20 here. Since at the moment, I cannot even place my sheds over at the parking lot here. Which is kind of a shame. But I would like my tractors to have a dedicated parking spot. And they should also park in reverse and everything. You know, place the trailers where they belong. It's gonna be neat and tidy, guys. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.